Have you ever changed yourself completely just to fit in? I've always known it's not worth it, but it's like now, I don't know how to stop. I could have died that night. My friends could have died that he night. He didn't like me. He liked the pictures I was I sending. decided that if this was the way to fit in, I would do it. It was a mistake I'll always regret. I gave him something I can never get back. I lost a pound, then another, and another. I didn't care what I was doing to my body. And I wish there was someone who could have told me that there was more to life than being cool. Every day after school, I got the knife out and washed my paint away. Am I wrong or uncool for not having sex? I never thought my sister would be the one to pressure me to do something I didn't want to do. And I don't know what to do now because I can't let my family down. I keep trying to find excuses to stop, but saying no is the hardest thing I've ever had to do. It was the summer before I'd finally be going into middle school, and the one worry on my mind was fitting in. At my middle school, the popular girl sat at the middle table, right in the center of the cafeteria. If you weren't skinny or pretty or had the cutest clothes, then you weren't sitting at the table. And yes, I was one of those ridiculous girls who went out to get the cutest outfit and tried to wear makeup just to fit in. And surprisingly, it worked. I was sitting at the middle table on the first day, so you might ask, why was this my worst day ever? Well, this is why. The first day, there were nine chairs on my table, and we soon all realized as lunch came to an end that tomorrow only eight chairs would be allowed at that table. My stomach suddenly felt sick, and I couldn't stop worrying about me getting kicked out of the table. But again, to my surprise, girls were coming up to me asking me who to cook at. I was so excited, until I started thinking about what I, have to, I would have to do. I knew it was mean and not like me, but I had to do it to fit in. So I told them that the new girl would be the one to go. I thought it would be easier that way since I didn't really know her. The next day, when she came into lunch and realized it was her being kicked out of the table, her whole face turned red as we stared at her, and she ran to the bathroom. That was supposed to be my happy moment, but it was my saddest. When I got home, I cried, thinking about what an awful person I turned into. This wasn't who I actually was. None of these people are my real friends because they don't know the real me. Day on, me and my real friends sat at a different table every day, and we didn't care if we were popular or not.